until it was too late. The brake van passed Gordon, but the tar wagons didn't. Luckily, no one was hurt, but Gordon was very cross. Now look what you've done. And at a junction. Edward rattled round the bend and straight into a barrier. Parcels flew everywhere. I'll never deliver the parcels on time now, he moaned. Edward felt terrible. Soon the parcels were loaded back. He tried to stop, but he couldn't. He just kept rolling along. He didn't dare look at what was coming next. There was the station master's house. The station master was about to have breakfast. Horrors, cried Thomas, and shut his eye. The house rocked. The last tinkle blaster was everywhere. Thomas had collected a bush on his travel. He peered into the room through its leaves. He couldn't speak. Good. tracks more wobbly than ever. Suddenly, there was a deep rumbling sound. Thomas's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. We're stuck. And they were. Thank you. 